Well, Senator Begich, thank you so much for your leadership on this and to all of our friends and colleagues who are here today. Last week, we saw the Supreme Court give CEOs and corporations across America the green light to deny legally mandated health care coverage for their employees. Women across the country are outraged. They are demanding a change, and today, by introducing this new legislation with a strong coalition behind us, we are here to be their voice. At a time when 99% of sexually active women in the U.S. have used birth control, five justices decided last week that a CEO's personal views can interfere with a woman's access to this preventive health service. In fact, more than two in three of them say they are against corporate interference when it comes to access to birth control in their health plans. And it's not just women who want Congress to act. People across the country understand that if bosses can deny birth control, they can deny vaccines, HIV treatment, or other basic health services for employees or their dependents. Men understand that it's not just female employees. It's the wives and daughters who share their health care plan, too, that are impacted. And just like many of the people we have all heard from over this last holiday weekend, they're tired of being targeted and are looking to Congress to right this wrong by the Supreme Court. So today, we are here to do just that. And I could not be more energized seeing this great coalition of colleagues and advocates ready to roll up their sleeves and get to work. Because we are here to ensure that no CEO or corporation can come between people and their guaranteed access to health care, period. I hope Republicans will join us to revoke this court-issued license to discriminate and return the right of Americans to make their own decisions about their own health care and their own bodies. I'm delighted that Senator Mark Udall is my co-sponsor on this, uh, Protect Women's Health from Corporate Interference Act, or as we are calling it, Not My Boss's Business Act. <laughs>